Michelle Bachman went on Neil Cavuto's show on Fox News to defend a, a recent lawsuit that's being uh, levied by Congress, the Republicans in Congress, I should say, against Barack Obama, saying that he has overstepped the bounds of his executive power. But oddly enough, Neil Cavuto wasn't exactly, uh, he wasn't going to accept her, her bullshit argument. Let's uh, show a little bit of their initial confrontation. So why he's doing it now, I don't know. But this is what we should do now. What we should do right now is defund the executive branch when we have the, the option. I just ran across the street because we're voting on funding for the executive branch all summer long. Cut it. Make it make it hurt because if they don't have money, they won't have power. No, it isn't. You're quite no, right. It where isn't. was no, your rage? Because where was your rage, do, Congresswoman? Listen, listen, listen. Where Let was me have your one rage, minute. Congresswoman? No, 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 no. You're conflating issues and you're being silly. Where was your rage when no, Democrats, not. when Democrats were going after President Bush on the same use of executive orders? Because I think you knew then that was a waste of time then, and I think you know in your heart of hearts this is a waste of time now. There are far more important things that you guys have to be addressing than filing lawsuits past each other. Uh, by the way, Listen, Rome's burning. I'm not the one, I'm not the one talking about that. What I'm saying is that what we ha what's very important is this: the president trying to establish lawlessness in the United States. That's a big Democrats issue. said That's George big. Bush did the same, Congresswoman. I'm just saying, and so what I'm we claiming it waste of time. She's like, wait, what network am I on? <laughs> so, Why are you questioning me? So that's what happens, Dr. Frankenstein, when you create a fucking monster. That's what happens. <laughs> uh, they come back on your show, and then you have to try to tell them fire is hot, and it doesn't <laughs> work. So uh, That's what this is, right? So Neil Cavuto is upset that they're filing frivolous lawsuits. You'd think the Republicans, whose whole platform is against fucking frivolous lawsuits, would be embarrassed that they're filing yet another frivolous lawsuit against the president, right? Isn't that, isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah, by the way, it's unprecedented. Uh, the Congress has never sued the president. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Right. And what, what, does, that, what, does, what does that what does mean? mean? You like, John was, saying, John was saying during the clip, she, when she said we're going to defund the executive branch, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, what, what do you mean defund the executive branch? That's such a weird thing. You can defund certain programs. Like, I don't want to spend money on defense. I will defund that F-35 uh, fighter jet. You can do that, right? Defund the executive branch. Like, they're making crazy shit up. Yeah. That's Fire why Neil Cavuto chef. said you... What does that you, mean? Yeah, <laughs> Neil Cavuto said you're being silly. Now, of course, my... Guess was at the time that Fox News viewers were going to be pissed, and uh, they were. We'll get to that in a minute, but we have one more clip uh, of this fun cat fight. Waste so what of we time. need to do, so what we need to do is defund the executive branch number one, and then impeach. Defund, wait, think about what you're saying. Defund the executive branch. If, Demo the Congresswoman, if Democrats had said you, we're going to just defund President Bush, we're going to defund the executive, you would laugh them out, and so, and so you should have then. And we, I think Democrats will be in their right mind to laugh you out now. Defund them. Listen, the, the House has the power of the purse. This isn't a small power. We can do this, but we can do something further. I hear your frustration. All right, what we can do further is impeach the elected officials that have oh, broken man, the oh, law. Man, oh, man, and oh, man, oh, man. Rome's burning and you're filing. All right. That's Respectfully not filing. disagree. That's Congress not woman. filing. That's kicking him out right. of there. What else are we no, going to do? Not. That it's is not, what the Constitution allows. We'll have more after this. Well, then what do you do? What do you do? That's what the Congress. I've used blue. Can I tell you what you do? <laughs> this is what you do, Michelle Bachman. You run a viable candidate for president, and then you win an election. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's what you do. What else are we supposed to do? We'll run somebody who can win the presidency, and then you don't have to keep obstructing everything the other party does. Yeah. Right? That's all this is. The country elected somebody; they have an agenda, and you don't want them to imp implement it. Well, run somebody who has an agenda that the, co the country agrees with. That's what you do. Are Republicans in Congress aware of how many executive orders Bush did versus how many executive orders Obama has done? So Obama's done 180 so far, Bush did 291. Now Obama still has more time to catch up, but the, the two things, the two executive orders that Obama did that really riled Republicans up is he wanted to extend family leave for same-sex couples and he wanted to ban federal contractors from discriminating against same-sex couples. Like Democrats in this case should come out and be like, look at the discrimination. They're mad because because they want the right to discriminate. They want to discriminate. Look at how many executive orders Bush did versus Obama. Like, why isn't the real message going out there, right? So there's a platform for someone like Michelle, uh, Michelle Bachman to speak on. And I'm glad that Neil Cavuto uh, decided to rebut the stupid stuff that she had to say. But why isn't it that we have shows in mainstream media that 
give Americans the truth about what's happening with so-called executive well, orders. Uh, Barack Obama, one more statistic about executive orders. He issued uh, the least amount of executive orders in his first term since William McKinley. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know this is, again, why are they doing this, Cenk? They're doing this because Barack Obama's policies already mirror the Republicans' policies. So they have to make up shit to be angry at him for. They can't get angry at his health care plan. It's their health care plan. They can't get angry at his foreign policy. It's their foreign policy. They can't get angry at his banking. It's their banking policy. So they have to keep making shit up. And Neil Cavuto finally said, can you guys do something for once? Yeah, I think hell might have frozen over because I agree with Neil Cavuto. One of the well, most... The, one of the anchors I dislike most in America, yeah. uh, but if, if like his obnoxious attitude actually proved useful for once in American history. Uh, and look, to buttress the, the points that were being made, when you look at, for example, recess appointments, another thing that Republicans are so mad about. Uh, George Bush did a hundred, over 170, Ronald Reagan did over 240, Barack Obama's done 32. And they're like, how dare Obama do recess appointments? Like, when is enough enough? And I guess it was enough uh, just at that point for Neil Cavuto, like, Come on, defund the executive branch, taking the president to court. This is, and then when she mentioned impeachment, he's like, you're in crazy yeah. land. You don't even know what you're impeaching him for. There's no crime, there's no misdemeanor, there's no nothing. You're trying to impeach a guy because you don't like him. That's not how this government works. I love that he went to commercial break and cut her yeah. off in mid-sentence. He came back and said, um, yeah, I accidentally cut you off, uh, but <laughs> but I don't apologize for my sentiment. <laughs> I had like, a damn. stroke. I didn't know what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think like 20 years ago they they got together. I know they didn't literally get together, but they got together and they said we want to be in charge and we don't care what it takes to get us there. And I think they've come to realize, wait, we kind of do care what it takes and who is going to be in charge. And I think that. Given a, a different option, Neil Cavuto would prefer an actual responsible, intelligent, well-read Republican who won't just, like their Sarah Palin, throw out terms like power of the purse, like that makes your argument for you. It doesn't. You don't understand what that even means, Michelle Bachman. She just thinks she has a powerful yeah. purse. Yeah, but now, we, we, yeah. Do have to be, we do have to be very careful, though, because obviously we, we like that Neil Cavuto is attacking her there, but it's not like Neil Cavuto is going to be like, oh, you're, this Rome is burning, we have to deal with our crumbling infrastructure, climate change, how it's going to cost us so much. No, no, no. What he wants us to deal with instead of the lawsuits is more stupid Republican BS, yeah. right. but at least he's trying to have her be a little bit responsible about the way she comports herself as a politician. But, but, but they created Michelle Bachman, and now Neil Cavuto's got to pretend like he's, you know, Fox's Dwight Fry, you know, and scare her off. <laughs> And, 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 you know, Michelle Bachman is so anti-government, she might even stop running for Congress next year. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now, of course, as predicted, Fox News viewers got pissed. How dare you? You're supposed to do this to Democrats, not mm -hmm. to Republicans. So then he, Cavuto, has to come out and read their letters. Let's watch. For a lot of you, more than a little hot and bothered, Jay Flynn in Orlando, you lost me as a viewer on this one. That was extremely rude and overboard. Cal in Washington, D.C., here's what I hate about you, Cavuto, everything. Tim in Burlington, Vermont, off your meds again, huh, Cavuto? Oh, that's nice. Tommy in New Orleans, tell your boss to fire you right now. Boss, Tommy says fire me right now. Bob in North Carolina, when your big loud mouth becomes the story, I change the channel. Gene in Titusville, you're wrong, Neil. We need to sue the president. Well, that's fine, Gene. Let's see you stick to that when Democrats try the same on the next Republican president. Greg emails via Yahoo. I thought you handled the interview very badly, and I was on your side of the argument. Boy, what an ass Neil was. I will watch for a Dem to get grilled like that, but uh, I won't hold my breath. Robert in Albuquerque, you wouldn't dare talk to a man the way you spoke to the congresswoman. Are you serious? Carol emails the same point. Silly? You called Michelle Bachman silly? Would you ever say that to a man you shove in his ass? <laughs> So, so Robert, uh, the person who wrote in, was implying that he was being sexist by by speaking over her. No, like you can't claim sexism when you're proving that someone is wrong in their argument. Like even if you get heated, even if you get riled up, that's the way that it works. I hate when people run to that. Oh, you're being racist, or you're being sexist, or you're being whatever. It's just such a, a stupid way of belittling the argument that you're making. That's such a dumb girl yeah. opinion about that. I right? Silly. <laughs> <laughs> so. so 
I love the comment about how he would never do that to a Democrat because Fox News is way too soft on oh, Democrats. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, Cabuto afterwards uh, showed an interview where he talked over and bullied Representative Earl Blumenauer, who happens to be a Democrat and a male. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, of course, Cabuto has been doing that his whole life to Democrats. It's the first time he ever did it to a Republican, and heads exploded at Fox News. But look, this is this is not just Cabuto getting fed up. Let's let's understand what's happening. Fox News understands that their audience is above the age of 70 and cranky old men, okay? And they've got to find a way to recalibrate and they got to do it carefully and slowly. That memo went out, man. Megyn Kelly's been doing it. She remembers she attacked Dick Cheney. Bill O'Reilly's been tri trying to pretend to be a moderate for a long time and he has the best ratings on Fox News. So an internal memo went out at Fox News. I'm look, this is me speculating, but based on my knowledge of cable news, okay? And so this Cavuto thing is not an accident. It wasn't some sort of straw that broke the camel's back. There's Fox News is saying uh, let's steer away from the crazies just a little bit here, and you'll see more of this. Look, that's what that's why I do the predictions, not so I can brag about them later. But well, so, that too. But no, but so you understand how the process works. So yeah. when you see it, you go, oh, I see. It's not that Neil Cavuto is reasonable. Yeah. Somebody wrote a memo inside Fox News and said, recalibrate. Our audience sucks, and we got to run away from them. I'm just amused at the thought of like young people rushing home to watch Bill O'Reilly and Neil Cavuto because mm -hmm. they recalibrated their their <laughs> opinions on the ridiculous shows. It's not going to happen, but it's fun to watch them try. I love the idea yeah. of a 14-year-old being like, shh, wait, Neil Cavuto's up. <laughs> <laughs>